<laughs> I'm ready, Freddy. Madeline, you can be a princess when you grow up. Okay, cool. Hi, welcome back to another episode of Talk Back for Teens. I'm your host, Zoe Sullivan, and I'm here with a lot of teen scientists. So why don't you introduce yourselves and tell us about what field of science you're into. I'm Abraham Klassen. I go to Pittsburgh Mountain High School, and my field is computer science. I'm Madeline Walters. Uh, I am a senior at Hilton High School, and I'm interested in imaging science. I'm Reagan Reed. Um, I'm a junior at Canandaigua High School, and I'm interested in uh, biology. But what exactly in these fields, like, do you do and or specialize in? You know, what's the criteria? In computer science, you do a, a lot of programming and software development, and you design the software and science technology. Mm -hmm. Imaging science is basically uh, the science of imaging systems, like how they're built, how they interact with humans, and like what they do, mm -hmm. I guess, is the best way to describe <laughs> it. I would uh, like to go into genetic engineering in biology. And um, for that, I would need um, uh, knowledge of um, molecular biology, which would um, allow me to um, understand uh, what I would be doing. Mm -hmm. So at what grade did you really get interested in these fields? I got interested in, in computer science probably in sixth or seventh grade. Mm -hmm. I think I got interested in imaging science probably around my sophomore or junior year of high school. I got interested in biology um, during middle school. My mom taught me um, during middle school, I was homeschooled, and um, she really sparked my interest in science. And since then, I've uh, diversified and um, grown, uh, I become interested in uh, specifically genetic engineering. Uh, what is it about these science fields that you just really enjoy the most? I really enjoy the logic and problem solving and looking ahead and innovation of computer science? It's probably the ability of people entering the field to connect with uh, people already in the field. Uh, just the amount of people in this community who have developed these imaging systems and their excitement to help people who are coming into the field like get access into their knowledge is just something that's super great in my opinion mm -hmm. about imaging science. Mm -hmm. Cool. Uh, I think the biology has uh, many applications um, to the real world. Like it can be applied to anywhere from agriculture to medicine. Mm -hmm. And I think that ride, uh, wide range of applications is really what appeals. What are some things that in that field that you don't really like, or like things that you know you have to do but that really suck? Staying up all night and programming lines of code for hours and hours and hours. Mm -hmm. And if you if you work a long time on a project and you finish it and you find it has a bug or some problem that you never thought it would have, that could be really annoying. Yeah. <laughs> Like Abraham said, um, sometimes there are bugs and sometimes things don't work <laughs> like you want them to work and you have to go back and find what went wrong, like where that error was and sometimes you can't necessarily fix the error because you broke like a part of the system. Yeah. So you have to go back and you have to like rework it so that you can get it working and then you still don't know completely if it's going to work mm -hmm. so that's that's something that's not great yeah that would probably be the same for me mm -hmm. um, working uh, with um, living subjects can sometimes be difficult and sometimes experiments really just don't work um, mm -hmm. and it's difficult to tell where things go on when you're uh, dealing with organisms that are relatively complex 
So why'd you choose this field of science instead of any other ones that are out there? For me, I picked computer science because I know it has many different applications and I know that if I learn computer science, then I will be able to apply that to almost anything I want to do. Mm -hmm. And I'm really interested in technology and developing technology, so that's why I picked computer science. Last summer, I had an internship with RIT for their imaging science program, and I really enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. And uh, it got me super interested in the field and I made connections with the professors there. Yeah. And so I decided uh, over the course of my senior year that that was what I wanted to go into. Mm -hmm. And that was something that I wanted to pursue as more than just a hobby. I think that biology is definitely one of the sciences that's developing the most quickly. So, and I really want to be on the, the forefront of um, that development. Cool. So what projects have you done lately to really, you know, broaden your mind and get more experience in this field? The imaging science internship that Maddie talked about and then I worked with the environment and I saw how computer science could be incorporated into that and it made me realize that computer science it's so easy to use for anything you want to do, from biology to medicine or agriculture, computer science. It's the fundamentals of everything, really. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, besides the internship that I had last summer, I also decided to pursue courses that would kind of help me, and uh, so that meant taking calculus, unfortunately. <laughs> it was not my favorite class, but it was important because that's something that qualify, well, that you have to take for imaging science. Mm -hmm. But also outside of school, I've started uh, teaching myself how to read and write code because that's also something that you kind of have to be able to do if you want to pursue imaging science. Mm -hmm. Last year I took several courses at RIT um, over the summer that really um, developed my understanding of biology and genetics and um, that, that was very interesting to me. Uh, I worked with um, uh, a doctor who was a professor at RIT and that showed me um, what he was working on. He showed me what he was working on um, in RIT and that was very interesting to me. Have you had any experiences where you realized, yeah, I do not want to go into this kind of science? Yes. <laughs> uh, I'd have to say it was physics my sophomore year. The teacher was really nice, but I just could not see myself doing physics <laughs> as I took that course and realized I didn't understand half of what she was saying. Yeah. No. What are some advances in science that you predict are going to happen in the future? Computer science is, once you do it, it's always there and you can always improve upon it and you can always make it up to date with the technology we have nowadays. Technology is always changing every second and computer science, once you develop a program, you can share that with other people and they can use it for their technology that they're developing too. And it's very fast paced. <laughs> like Ab Abraham said, it's super fast paced. So I don't really know if I can make any predictions about what's going to happen in the science field, just because it's such a vast area yeah. that it's kind of hard to keep up with what's happening unless you focus on like a specific area yeah. and really in my opinion uh, the applications of science are kind of limitless as long as people are continuously being innovative and they're continuously seeing like an area where they think they could develop something. So we could have flying cars, we could not? Um, well they're already working on that so I'd awesome. say 
I'd say we're going to have some flying cars in the future, maybe an Iron Man suit or two. Oh my God, yes. We could have more Robert Downey Juniors, which I would be... I'll be happy with that. I would be good with that. Yeah. So, um, could anybody be a scientist if they tried hard enough? Of course. <laughs> anybody can be a scientist, and all you have to do is have the passion, have the want, and look for opportunities, and it's easy to become a scientist. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you just have to find something that you enjoy doing and pursue that part. And then I think you're pretty much good as long as you like, if you go into chemistry, as long as you don't like burn anything down. <laughs> but that's fun. But <laughs> that's also not a good idea with chemicals. Yeah. I feel like science is more the search for knowledge. So if you have something you're looking for, then, and it's not, it hasn't been f discovered yet, then um, you can be, call yourself a scientist. The lab coat's just superficial. <laughs> Great. So what are the greatest accomplishments that you've had so far? <laughs> We're pretty young. Not many accomplishments. Not I many mean, accomplishments? I mean, last summer I built a camera. But, I mean, this summer I'm graduating, so I, I'd say that's a pretty big accomplishment. I spent mm -hmm. 13 years of my life working towards that, so Same. I'd say that's probably going to be my biggest accomplishment. Cool. Yeah, I don't just mean awards, you know. Right. <laughs> what is in your future in your science career? For me, it would be having a lot of technology in my house and it would be technology everywhere mm -hmm. and for me my future is at RT and I'm going to there for computer science and I hope to get my master's or PhD at RT. Wow. Um, I'm also going to RIT but I'm going for imaging science. And so I guess my future is going to look like being there for at least the next four years. And I will definitely be looking into getting jobs that come up in the field. And this summer I'm working at RIT, so mm -hmm. that's going to be fun. Uh, as a junior, I don't know where I will go yet, <laughs> but um, I'm hoping to apply to uh, small liberal arts colleges and hopefully um, pursue a, um, a, a major in biology and a major also in classics, which mm -hmm. would be interesting, and uh, hopefully pursue my biology career further than that. So is college kind of a scary thought? I think it'll be fun. <laughs> I mean, it is, but it isn't. I think the scariest thought probably, and I, I, I can only speak for myself, is the fact that I'm going to have to pay money for this. <laughs> Can't screw it up. Um, yeah, it's like college is expensive, and I don't want to screw that up. <laughs> right. You need to, <clears throat> you need to do good in school so you could get scholarships and money so you can use that money to go to college and take more classes to get a degree, and then using that degree you could get a job when you will make money. So if you if you just if you're lazy or if you give up too easily, then you're not going to do that well in school, and then that's pretty much the scariest part in college, mm -hmm. not doing well. Yeah. So how time-consuming is all of this work? Uh, very, <laughs> very time-consuming. Uh, computer science. Uh, a lot of coding and usually takes many hours to make even just one program because there are so many bugs. But then again, if you love computer science like I do, then time flies, I guess. Yeah, like it took six weeks to build a camera that wasn't even like up to where we wanted it to be. Mm -hmm. and its functionality. I mean, it worked. It took a lot of pictures, but um, I'd say probably the most time-consuming part is 
actually thinking up ideas because with imaging science you you have to have a focus of what you want to produce and it's kind of difficult because most of what you're producing hasn't been done yet mm -hmm. and so just the idea process behind it is probably the most time consuming thing but at the same time, it's also super exciting because you're building something that hasn't been built yet, mm -hmm. so. I feel like the most time consuming part of biology is um, actually conveying your ideas after, after you've made the observations and whatnot. Um, I think the more important part of biology is you need to be thorough. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, if, you, if you're not thorough, then your results won't be good. Cool. Uh, so, what would be your dream, dr not dream career, but dream job in your field? <laughs> I don't know yet. Uh, don't know yet? I haven't been offered mm. one yet, so. <laughs> <laughs> but do you, s you picture being a scientist, nothing else, a scientist? Yeah, I mean, there's always going to be that dream in the back of my head saying, Madeline, you can be a princess when you grow up. But uh, I'm still going to do that. But I mean, at the same time, I really enjoy science. And I know that there's a lot of different applications that I can apply it to. Like with imaging science, I can apply it to the film industry. I could get involved with animation. I could get involved with Pixar. I could get involved with NASA if I choose to go into the physics route, which probably won't happen because I don't really like physics. But just the sheer amount of possibilities is just, I mean, it's, what's, it's what is about being a scientist. Mm -hmm. I would want to uh, become a genetic engineer. I think that's the most interesting thing for me. Um, but that can change, obviously. Downsides to science. We say for computer science, it's, it can be expensive to keep up with the technology that's always changing. And in college, I think that science is, it could be more expensive compared to other majors. And computer science, it takes a lot of time to think about things, to solve problems, and to type up the code and make sure it works. Mm -hmm. Expensive and time consuming pretty much sums up science. I think the uh, problem with science isn't the science itself, but the society formed around it. Society will always um, fall behind on sci uh, in, t in terms of progress in relation to science. Mm -hmm. um, for instance, um, regulations on genetically modified foods um, aren't uh, to par in my eyes. Um, uh, right, regulations can kind of, um, like for instance, you can patent a seed and the seed uh, can't be grown by local farmers and the farmers won't be able to uh, grow, them themselves, uh, grow them themselves and if they try to they'll be, be sued, which is unfair to the farmer. Mm -hmm. So that's my view. Yeah, well, thank you, everyone, for your insight, but we're out of time for this segment, so be sure to check us out on Facebook and Twitter, and also our website, Talk Back for Teens with a Four. I was your host, I was your host, Zoe Sullivan. Be sure to check out the second segment on our website and check out all the cool articles we've got and all the other cool videos. See you next time. See me up in the club with 11 girls Posted in the back, down my fangs in my grill It's a question I sit in low, never born here when me got that smoke Flying cars in the future, maybe an Iron Man suit or two On Instagram, cake by the pound God, yes Every time I come around Jeez up, tell me how I'm looking, babe This up Okay, cool You just walk we could have more Robert Downey Jr.'s, which I would be... I'll be happy with that. I would be good with that. Yeah.
Madeline, you can be a princess when you grow up. As long as you don't like burn anything down. <laughs> Do we wave goodbye? <laughs>